hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that uh, how to export an uh, array of json objects to a csv file which is called as comma separated value you can e even uh, open it inside excel microsoft excel as well let me show you basically if you open this web page automatically you will see this file will be downloaded it as attachment here you can see that uh, orders.csv file has uh, downloaded you will see if i so show you here basically this is opened inside uh, microsoft excel here and this is the file here you can see that so we will try to basically build this uh, csv file guys so you can see that basically this is the four headings here four columns are there four number charger cases earphones so three rows are there so this is all uh, there inside this json object you can we are exporting this you can see that we are exporting this array of objects here so this is an json file here json objects here you can see that we are exporting this to a comma separated value which is csv file so that we can open it inside excel file so for this guys, I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website which is webninjadeveloper.com So all the source code is given in the description of this video So you can go to this uh, blog post, read step by step and copy paste all the source code So now let me start building this application from scratch So right here just make a simple index.html file here and just type here Export Array of JSON objects Into CSV so right here guys we will uh, just have a simple i think we can uh, yes do i don't you, you don't need to write any html here so just need to start from scratch so let's suppose we take a user's example so it will be a user's array of objects so in the first object we will have the name property here let's suppose we have john williamson then we have the age here which is 15 and the country let's suppose and sports sport i will say that cricket so let me change this to 25 so here you can simply write some more objects here comma so you can see four records are there you can change the names here and like this you can see so these are four different records out there so now we simply need to export it to a csv file so that we can uh, open it inside the excel file so right here guys we need to construct a another object called as uh, users formatted and basically guys why we are doing this we need to first of all remove uh, these uh, commas if any comma is there right here inside this file we need to remove it so for doing this we are simply making this uh, variable which is an empty array for now and now we will be looping through you can see we are will be having this for each loop here so we will be invoking it inside this users object here this is array of objects for each user here we will be doing this and uh, here we will simply import this inside our users formatted array we will use the push method basically this will push the entry inside this array so we will push an object here which will have uh, first of all the name property so here guys you will simply say here user dot name and here we will replace we will use this method here which here we will pass the regular expression here which is for comma so we just need to remove any sort of comma which is there this is a regular expression and uh, then we will have for the age property which is equal to user users dot age you can see that so yes users dot age then we have the country property which will be user dot country and uh, uh, sports is equal to user dot sport like this 
so this is we are only doing this guys because sometimes inside your values there can be commas present here so in csv file commas are not there so we need to replace these commas with this a space so that's why let's suppose you have a comma here so this will be replaced by this empty string here this is a regular expression that we are using you can do this for any column here let's suppose this also you have some kind of comma so this is not mandatory to do but still you need to do that in order to replace any sort of comma which is there inside your value so after this guys what we need to do is that we need to make simply a header object which will only contain basically the first row here and this is name again we need to simply say here uh, name and then we will simply have again this function which is regular expression this is only done for the columns guys so we, how many columns are there inside your array of objects this is the name here so we are again checking if the name has name property has some, some kind of comma here we are replacing it with nothing and then we have our age property which will be equal to age and then we have the country which will be equal to country and uh, then we have the subject which will be equal to sorry sports sports will, is equal to sport so this is all the columns names we are writing guys there are four columns name age country sport so we are just writing it as a header object here and after this we need to initialize what uh, file name that you need to give here so this file name will be passed here to the function so i can give it as output you don't need to provide the extension here and then we need to write this function guys export csv file so we will pass this uh, headers object here sorry this will be header and then we need to pass uh, our user formatted and then the actual file name that you have given that's it so this is all information we are passing this to this function guys so right here we need to write this function basically we can write this function after this we can define this export csv file we will use these three method user formatted and file name and inside this method guys first of all we will check that if the header object is passed and if it is not equal to null in that case we need to basically uh, insert this inside the users formatted into the beginning of the array so for inserting any element into the beginning of the array guys we can use this method which is called as unshift so basically it inserts new elements at the start of an array so we will pass this object which is header object right here so after this guys we need to convert our json object to csv string sorry json object to string so for doing that we can simply convert this uh, we can say json object and we can use this method guys which is available json.stringify basically it converts the javascript value to a javascript object notation so it automatically converts your uh, javascript object to json object so here we will simply pass our users formatted so now your <coughs> java json object will be there so now we can export this uh, json object to csv string so we can simply console log simply to check if all things are working here and if i now open this with live server and uh, if you see guys basically this will be the constructed string here name age country sport name is equal to john williamson you can see age 25 this is coming because guys uh, there has there is comma right here we have replaced it with a comma here so that is why i am talking about so if you have that comma it will be replaced by empty string so we need to remove that comma is if you just remove it you will see that john williamson will be there uh, you can see kane all these records are there so now we simply need to convert this to a csv string comma separated values so for that we will have to write a simple utility kind of a function which is we will not be using third party libraries guys this is the beauty of this application we will call a method out there which is called as uh, uh, we can simply call a method here which will be convert to csv and we will pass this object json object so we now need to write this method guys at the very top you can just write this 
you will write function convert to csv and you will receive the json object as an argument so right here guys first of all we will simply detect whether the type of the json object we will detect the json object type of so we will compare whether it's an object or an array so if it is an object in that case so basically type of uh, returns the type of a variable either it can be string number a json object or uh, array as well if it if it's not an object then we need to convert this to an object so we will call json dot parse so it converts the json into an object so we will pass this json object right here if it is an object then we will simply declare it as json object that's it now we will simply uh, declare a string variable which will be empty so we will be returning this string variable from this function so now we will simply run a for loop here and uh, this will be having this variable i is equal to 0 and it will run until this uh, array dot length so you have computed this array this we will compute it till the length is reached i plus plus and inside this we will declare the line which will be empty by default and here again will be a nested for loop will be run here var index in array i and inside this guys we will first of all check if line is not equal to empty string in that case we need to increment this line variable and here we just need to insert the comma here comma separated values so in between the uh, array records guys we need to put a comma here like this so after that if all this is done right here we can simply say that line plus is equal to array i and index that's all that you need to do guys inside this i think it's a second statement you need to write inside this for nested for loop so just after you put this comma and after this you can see and now after this guys uh, we will increment the string value string value which is an empty right here plus is equal to and line plus and in single quotes you will simply say slash r slash you will insert the new line character also so after the end of each record so let's suppose we have four properties out there so after this whole record we will insert a line break so the next record will come on its own new line so that's why we are inserting this new line character and lastly we need to return the string guys from this function that's it and now if you want to console log the csv string if you want to check out how it is looking like if i now refresh it and if i go to the browser here inside the csv we will see that name comma age comma country comma sport john williams you can see these four records are there and after this uh, one record is ended here we have a new line character you can see that so this is a csv string which is generated guys so now we need to store this uh, all this string into a csv file and download this file as an attachment something like this so we can view it inside microsoft excel so for doing this guys we will use a simple concept in javascript which lets you do that process we will first of all export this csv string here first of all we will say that export it file name so this will be equal to the file name that we are receiving here and we will in just embed csv so this will be the file name and after this we will construct a blob object and new blob this is basically built in inside javascript every browser we will pass the csv string so we will build the blob object and also we need to give the second argument which is the type argument so this is equal to the mem type of csv files which are text slash csv uh, semicolon character set will be utf8 and semicolon that's it so this is the type parameter here so after this guys basically after you initialize this we will check here if the navigator api support our m save uh, ms save blob so this is for internet explorer guys so if you don't need to 
do that for internet uh, you can just for checking purposes we are doing that navigator dot ms save blob and inside this we will pass blob and export it file name that's it so if you if your browser is something different if your browser is not internet explorer in that case we have firefox or apora firefox chrome in that case we will be downloading it as in uh, using the anchor element we will create this anchor element by create element after this we will simply check if link dot download is not set is undefi undefined in that case we will simply say we will say let url and we will construct this url by using this method create object url guys and here we will pass the blob object so this will give me the unique url that we can set here we can simply set the attribute here and uh, we can set the href attribute to this created url that's it and now we simply need to download this as an attachment so for downloading it we need to set the download attribute as well so we will set the download attribute to the exported file name and we will uh, show this link here guys style dot visibility we will say that to be hidden so it should be hidden by default and we need to set this document dot body append child and we will append this child into the body and now we simply need to click this link guys so automatically whenever you load the page this link will be clicked and after that we need to remove it so we will simply call document.body.remove child and we will remove this link that's it so that's all that you need to do guys inside this application so if you reload the application if you reload the page as soon as you load the page you will see output.csv file will be downloaded if you open this file here it will be opening it inside the csv file and you will see all the four columns are there here uh, you can see name age country sport you can see that so in this way you can see that in this case you can see that and basically you can even uh, open this file inside your favorite text editor let's suppose you are using visual studio code text editor you can even use it inside visual studio as well totally depends upon you in this way guys you can export an array of objects uh, json objects into a csv file so thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel as well